this is a, a frequency tree problem, a quite a challenging one I've picked. Let's read the question. 39 of the 80 students are male. We know we've got 80 students all together, but 39 of those are actually male. Now don't rush into this and put, oh, you see male here and put 39 there. That's not right. Because there are some male who play tennis, some males play cricket, some males play, play hockey. So we can't use that 39 number, that 39 anywhere here yet. Read on. The same number of students play cricket as hockey. Cricket, hockey, same. So I'm just going to put a reminder there to say that is the same as this. These two numbers are going to be the same. 11 of the 18 students playing tennis are female. So if I just underline this, 18 students playing tennis, that's how many people play tennis. So I'll put the 18 over here. 18 students playing tennis. Tennis, 18. But 11 of those, 11 of those are actually females. 11 of these are females. So put the 11 there. So I've dealt with this number, dealt with that number. 80 is right there, okay. Um, three more boys than girls play cricket. So he's talking about cricket. Cricket, we don't know how many people play cricket yet, but there are three more males than females playing cricket. Now, before I start working out these numbers here, I think I can do something with these two here. Remember, these two numbers are going to be the same. So 18, add something, add something to give you 80. All of these have to add up to 80. So what I'll do is 80, take away 18, that leaves you with 62. Split the 62 in half, 62 divided by 2, gives you 31. So 31, I'm going to put 31, that's part of my calculation, so I'll choose a different colour. That's 31 and 31 they have to be the same and you can check if these three numbers add up to 80 so just a quick check 31 and 31 and 18 should add up to 80 it does so so far i've done that right there's another number that i can actually work out before i carry on this one this one's fairly straightforward we've got 18 people playing tennis there are 11 female and the rest of them, the rest of those are male that play tennis. So 11 add something to give me 18, obviously 7, 7 and 11 makes 18, check. Right, it gets, gets a bit tricky now, as it's saying, three more boys than girls play cricket. So it's talking about cricket here, so we're in this region here, so follow cricket, we're in this region. Three more boys than girls play cricket. So obviously there are more boys than girls playing cricket. So what I will do, I don't know what this number is. Uh, let me just call it X. There are X number of females. Now that could be any number, but we know there are three more boys. More means plus. So I'm going to do X plus three because there are three more boys than girls. Now some of you some of you might choose to do some of these calculations in your head. It might be quite obvious to you, but I'm just showing you using algebra. If you know another method of getting this, um, do so, but try to get the answer right. You will check that your answers, all your numbers add up to 80 at the very end or if you just carry on now, um, we have x, right, the total of these two, if you add this number, this expression and this expression here, if you add them up, 
they should they should add up to 31 so these two when you add them to add these two together when you add the x and the x plus 3 together they should add up to 31 because there are 31 male and female playing cricket so let's do the algebra here now we can simplify this x add x is 2x and just got the plus 3 on its own right to, to find all right so we have something times 2 add 3 to give you 31 so we'll do inverse operation we use the bat we'll use the balancing method so to get rid of plus 3 you take away 3 what do you do on this side do on the other side 3 take away 3 they knock each other right you're left with 2x 31 take away 3 is 28 to get rid of times by 2 you divide by 2 what do you do on this side do on the other side so sorry just in case you didn't see that we've simplified x plus x is 2x and then you got the plus 3 on its own you got the 31 over here to get rid of plus 3 you take away 3 what do we do on this side do on the other side so 3 take away 3 gives you nothing you're just left with 2x 31 take away 3 is 28 to get rid of times by 2, you divide by 2. What have you done on this side? Do on the other side. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. They knock each other out. So you're just left with the x. 28 divided by 2 is 14. x is 14. So this is x. This x here is 14. And then 14. x is 14. Remember, x is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. Check. We have three more males, boys. Then girls, 17 and 14, 17 and 14 should add up to 31. Now, can't guess these numbers. Some people tend to guess numbers. We've got some information that we've not used yet. Right, I've used this information, but I need to use this information. There are 39 of the student, 80 students are male. There are 39, there are 39 males altogether. There are 39 males altogether. So, just looking at the males in this diagram, we've got 7, 17, plus something to give you 39. So we have 7 males here, 17 males here, plus something to give you 39. 17 at 7, 24. So 24 at something to give me 39. That's 15. So 15, the 15 goes here. 15 at something. These two have to add together to give you 31. 15 at something to give you a 31. So obviously 16.